Hi guys, welcome back to a, uh, another episode uh, on biomechanics. Uh, here with uh, Tom and myself. Uh, today we're going to talk about piriformis. Today, you might have heard of uh, piriformis. It's a small muscle in your glutes or underneath your glutes, which runs from your hip bone uh, across to your sacrum, to the front side of your sacrum, to that first fused part of your spine. Now that crosses a joint called your sacroiliac joint. Uh, so potentially it can cause that joint not to move properly or effectively um, so then the body has to compensate by moving more range of motion to another joint because that joint can't move so what we're trying to do is we want to release off that joint so uh, in order to help us to squat better uh, to deadlift better to get our glutes more involved into those lifts okay so um, what we're going to do is we're just going to demonstrate now uh, the exercise to release off piriformis so Tom's going to take a seat uh, she's going to cross his right leg over the left. Now, obviously, you can do this on both sides. You might find one side is tighter than the other. Um, what he's going to do is going to place both hands on his knee, and the movement you're trying to do is you're trying to push the foot down and away. Okay, that's it. So that knee, so left, his left knee is resisting his ankle. Okay, and his hands are resisting his knee for moving, but his effort is pushing that ankle down and away. Okay, so if Tom pushes down with his ankle. He's going to push down about 20, 30 percent of his strength. So not too hard. You're gonna hold it for about 20 seconds, okay? Uh, and then once you've held it for about 20 seconds, just take it in a deep breath and then relax. As you relax, you might find the knee will drop down maybe a little bit, or you might feel a bit of a release in the glute. That's fine, okay? Just wait about 10 seconds and then we'll do another one, okay? So you wanna to aim to do about three or four times. I would say probably four times is generally better. Uh, but if you're a bit rushed for time, three is okay. Um, again, yeah, three or four times on both sides, particularly if you're quite stiff in the hips or around the pelvis when, when you're deadlifting or you're squatting, this is a really go-to exercise to release things up and uh, get things moving effectively, okay, to help your lifts so you can perform sort of proper technique, okay? So Tom's done it twice, so again, like I said, you want to be doing it three to four times. I was just going to show the difference from side to side. So if we turn this his left foot up, okay, he's going to externally rotate his, his left, okay. And you see that, okay, and then we'll go internally rotate, okay. So it's a bit stiff in the internal rotation. So if we go on the right side, okay, externally rotates, okay, good. And then internally rotates, okay, slightly better. So as you can see, it's also if he, um, he just brings his knee up into hip flexion, okay, and then if he does the other side as well, okay, there's a slight improvement as well. So, again, if you're looking to maybe if you're struggling to hit depth with the squat, so to sort of parallel, or you feel your lower back's rounding out as you're squatting down, um, this is maybe a potentially a good exercise for you to do. It can also help with your hamstring mobility as well. Your, your sciatic nerve mobility. Um, so give it a go. Uh, comment below how you get on and yeah, let us know. Cheers, guys.